close your eyes now. And we connect to source now. I mean, source means the source of everything, no being beyond that, the highest, the highest, absolute highest. So we rest in God. God is all around us, which is God is source. And we connect to our highest consciousness. Smile like an idiot, you're in the presence of greatness. And to our spirit guides, you know, all the way, the hierarchy, all the way up to source. And we also connect and invite Milky Way Galaxy as a more local representation, quite physically present to source this beautiful consciousness. And to the sun, which is the local expansion of source. and to Mother Earth, which is our more local. <laughs> and to our inner child, which is kind of our representation here at this time and space continuum. And to the elements here in this realm and the directions here in this realm. And we ask and invite all those beings that still love us unconditionally. Thank you for coming. I love you. Amen. And I ask that everything that happens in and from this session is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony, with the most benevolent outcomes. That there is no deception, and that we are completely safe in every aspect in every way, that only the best will come to us. Amen, 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 amen. And now smile like an idiot and send your roots into the earth, Mother. Just like a tree, you know, shape shift your legs as deep tap roots into her. and fringe them out into smaller and smaller side roots. And then do the same thing with your spine, just downshift it in your imagination. And now allow her love to rise in you into your heart. And on your exhale you send your love your energy back to her as an expression of gratitude, smile. And then you take a big inhale and accept her love for you. And you breathe all the wind until no more of her love fits into you. And then you breathe all the way out, all the way out into her till no more, no more energy flows out of you. Mm -hmm. And then you pull her love into you. Back and forth, back and forth. And we ask Source and Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified like Lord Shiva for those of the Hindu tradition to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Reptilian, Grey, Magician, Human or other predatory courts and devices and other technology from every level of our beings, any incarnation, time or dimension now for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, amen, amen and keep you know, running love with Mother Earth, breathe back and forth. And you probably will feel like an uplift of energy floating up. Mm -hmm. 
feel lighter, more smiley. Just keep smiling like an idiot. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And now, you know, on the exhale, you pump that love into your heart and just make your heart more fluffy, just more fluffy. Mm -hmm. Expand it also to the back. And now put your tongue to the palate and imagine that your head extends like a laser and it connects to the center of the Milky Way galaxy. You know, that you're imagining above you. You know, that bulge, that bulge that's in the center of the galaxy. You connect with your head onto this. Mm -hmm. And you let that liquid light dissolve any blocks and blobs or clouds of darkness that you can sense, you know, in your head, in your neck area and above your head. Just kind of use it to scorch away any low vibrational stuff. G mm. breathing, smile like an idiot. And you can also anchor this column of light, laser-like bundled light through you into the earth connecting this to the core of Mother Earth. And when you do this you feel a very zzz, kind of buzzy energy when you do this right. And smile, 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 you know, to keep it sweet. It's kind of an impersonal energy in a way. Uh, And now we asked your spirit guides to show you what a yes answer feels like. And, you know, as a code, we will take an upflow of energy from the heart up, you know, as a yes. And a downflow of energy would be a no. So we asked the, um, our spirit guides to give us a yes now. Amen. And to be sure, um, we ask them to give you another yes, maybe make it stronger for you. And one more time, give us another yes, try to make it even stronger and clearer. And you let your spirit guides know if it's not strong enough for you, right? Important. Now let's ask them to give you a no, which would be a flow of energy from the heart down towards the feet you know, sometimes in the stomach. So let's ask him to give you a now, a no now. Uh -huh. And make that even stronger, give you another no. Uh -huh. Okay, so I hope you got it, <laughs> you know. Otherwise, um, maybe during the meditation you will get better sensations. Mm -hmm. Or use the pendulum. Right. So now, uh, you know, connect to heaven and earth again and pull their love into your heart and expand your heart. Smile like an idiot. You want to be centered in your heart pretty much all day long if you can. Connect it to heaven and earth and centered in your heart. You know, then you're pretty much a really good person by most <laughs> traditional standards. You know, it doesn't matter which tradition you come from. You know, when you're centered in your heart and connected to the heavens and grounded in the earth, that's good. Uh -huh. And now let's call uh, a representation of your inner teen. So that's you as a little, well, as a young man or woman, anything from 13 to 19. So uh, we, are, have that, we ask for that one to be in front of us now. Amen. Uh -huh. And most of you probably feel a presence. Uh, some of you may even see, uh, you know, yourself in a younger age. Um, for some of you it's quite crude. Some of you may just see a picture, you know, some crude memory. It doesn't matter much. Uh, so now take that love from heaven and earth into your heart on the inhale and on the exhale. You send this to the heart of your inner teen. 
you know, this is just a hello. Ask him to smile if you frown so he can get that love, but, you know, this don't force. <laughs> and just, you know, send love to him with a deep breath and make sure you pull in enough from heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, probably I would expect most inner teens, they're not that happy. Mm -hmm. So that's why that love is needed. Uh -huh. So just, you know, try to clear their heart with that love. Maybe visualize, you know, a sunlight that you're furnishing a sun in their heart. This helps with many times to brighten this. Uh -huh. And now, this deep breath, you breathe into your heart, into their hearts, and then you breathe into their legs, just like you did with your own body, to ground yourself, so to just do it, you know, for him. Just imagine, you know, you're breathing into his body, and this love that you take from heaven and earth, and, you know, ground him into the earth, mother. Yeah, that's important. Deep breathing to connect the inner child to the earth. You know, they need to discharge the excessive emotions, negative energies into the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you may even feel some of you, some energy rushing up in your own body. That's because when the inner teen, uh, teen gets cleaned, um, you will have more access to energy too. And uh, especially have you done it to your inner child too. Um, so if you haven't done that, you know, uh, later on, just go back to that meditation and clean the inner child out <laughs> from all those blocks that will greatly improve your energy level. Mm -hmm. Trade secret. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And now start breathing into his crown chakra. So you, again, you take that love that's infinitely available from heaven and earth. And the inhale into your heart and then send it into the heart of your inner teen and just push it into the head, you know, and above the head. Uh -huh. You t take a really long, extended breath for that. So. Of course, make sure your tongue is still at the palate. And for you, for you guys who are real yogis or have long tongues, uh, you can stick your tongue up the very back you know, to try to get as high as possible, you know, away from the teeth, the other side. And uh, it probably will jack up your connection with your crown trucker by 50% or more. So you do that. Another trade secret, right? Okay, and now we ask, you know, the angels to do an outpouring of love onto the inner teen and just keep caressing this one with love, maybe tickle a little bit, but nothing invasive or sexual, I would say. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's uh, try the yes and no protocol again. Uh, this year in a teen, ask it uh, to give you a clear yes now. And another, maybe clearer, stronger yes now. And one third time, a clearer yes than that even. Uh -huh. And then a no, you know, the downflow of energy. Let's do one of those. Yeah, these are generally pretty quite easy. Mm -hmm. And now, first question to the inner teen, and, you know, just keep running love with the inner teen. 
Um, ask whether your inner teen gets to express itself enough in your life. Yes or no. And to make sure, let's ask one more time. Do you get to express yourself enough in your life, in my life? Yes or no. And one more time, yes or no. Uh, but then you should probably have it. Mm -hmm. And now the next question is, can you, the adult person, be happy if your inner teen is not happy? Yes or no? And just ask one more time to be sure, can you be happy? when your inner teen is not happy, yes or no. All right, so probably figured out by now that um, it's in your own interest to take care of your inner teen. And so first thing is to get to know, right? So let's ask your inner teen, um, how does that manifest in your life when he's acting through you, right? So this could be, probably memories that come up, maybe when you threw a temper tantrum or when you were doing the fertility dance at the wedding. <laughs> so just, you know, uh, find out, you know, get to know him. Don't judge him. And, and let's help it a little bit along the way with simple yes or no questions. So is he kind of involved in stupid risk taking? Yes or no? And also just to get to know him a little bit more, ask him what he likes to play best in your life. I mean, is he the video gamer in you or uh, the one that likes nature? Or going to parties, you know, just keep smiling and running loud with him. And huh, maybe offer him, you know, ask him if he uh, can be in charge of having fun as long as it is appropriate, right? Or maybe even you're choosing your clothes, if you're not too old. <laughs> and the music, you know, or maybe even interacting, you know, with other kids. You know, maybe you have kids that are teenagers. That's always fun when you let your inner teen out and let your inner teen play with your teenage kids. You know, second chance at a youth. So, but, you know, let's uh, relieve him of doing any duties <laughs> or any choices in terms of duties, food choices, and, you know, deciding when to do the housework. You know, that's going to be probably more your male or female high self. Mm -hmm. And let's get to know him a little bit more, right? So, we all know teens and parents, right? This is often like oil and water. So let's ask him what's the biggest mother issues <laughs> that he's still having a hang up with. <laughs> and let's call, you know, your own inner guidance, just ask your own divine guidance, you know, how much of these mother issues are coming from past lifetimes? You know, most from past lifetimes? Yes or no? All right. So, next question at the end, Teen. So, what are the father issues that just still irking the inner teen? That's still uh, under its skin. Uh-huh. And 
Now again, I ask the how, your inner guidance, how much of that is from past lifetime? Most of it, yes or no? And so, of course, you know, everybody knows we all have, all the inner teens, you know, carries enormous frustration, you know, resentment, disappointment, and, you know, anger at the parents, you know. And so uh, that's, uh, of course, not, you know, healthy, uh, you know, to yell at them or to put them into a bad one diaper a day old age home that's not fair so we just give the inner teen you know insight to just vent this anger you know um, to just <clears throat> do the fu hand position a very important mudra and uh, just have him declare he's independent from them it's gonna go his own ways, not the geeky ways, the outmoded ways. He's gonna, you know, do his his own way, the way he thinks is right, you know, and just not suck up with them or, you know, it's being suppressed, shut out by them. So let him like do the Tarzan cry, chicken dance, fertility dance, you know. Uh, there are all kinds of moves that are very offensive to parents so I think he can express himself <laughs> so just uh, keep it internal, let him scream internally, you know, um, unless you live in the woods or unless you, the cops don't come um, yeah so really let him, you know, belch out this frustration, it's much better than beating up the couch or kick in the dog Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And let's, um, well, let's call the male high self, you know, as a new champion, you know, for the inner teen, you know, to have some kind of shelter, you know, and wisdom to, you know, generally the parents are off, she can't really rely on them. But, um, yeah, high self is generally quite protective, nourishing, and smart. So let's just call on the presence of your male, of your male high self, your masculine divine aspect to be in front of you. Amen. And smile like an idiot. You know, you don't want to be rude or scare the guy. Uh-huh. And now on the inhale, just draw his love into you and... You then on the exhale send your love to him. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just back and forth, deep breathing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, inspire your inner child, your inner teen to do the same, to run love as your inner male. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now, you know, probably he feels a lot more manly. Mm -hmm. And maybe, yeah, just give him the strength. Awesome. So this is the one you should call on when he's in trouble, you know, to protect him, to give him counsel, give him permission now. Amen. So, time to get to know him, the inner teen more. Um, so... Ask him what's still the highest ideals, you know, about life that he had, you know. I mean, we're not going to be firemen or, or cops anymore, I guess, or bus drivers. Um, so let's, you know, ask him, you know, what is the dream that he, how did he want to live his life? And, you know, ask, <laughs> be honest here, are those passions and hobbies, you know, still manifesting in you or are these all broken dreams? So the question is, <laughs> are these passions and hobbies still manifesting in you, yes or no? All right, well, maybe you can make it happen. Mm -hmm. 
And now ask him again, you know, so what still are his greatest desires? You know, if there's one thing he, he you know, he has on his bucket list that he wants you to do, you know, what would that be? Well, okay, and I ask him or it. <laughs> also, what's the greatest despair that's still bugging you? Yeah, maybe you got dumped at a date, or ridiculed in front of the class, or somebody did transgressions. So, mm -hmm. all right. So we ask the spirit guides to maybe assist this aspect of you with this issue. And again, now ask for the teen aspect that really needs the most help. Mm -hmm. And have him shapeshift or it shapeshift into that age, you know, when this crisis was. And now again, you know, you just breathe into love, into this aspect of yourself, you know, grounded now. Breathe into the legs so it can relax and feel stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then connect it to the heavens through the crown chakra, opening those cosmic antennas to your consciousness. And ask the angels to pour our love in there. Mm -hmm. And then just pour and pump love into the heart. And with your love stream also, you know, maybe clear out the spine so there is a nice flow from the earth into the heavens to that teen in crisis, let's say, you know, so we pepple him up till it's smiling and glowing in the dark like a sun. <laughs> I mean, really, you know, really smiling from ear to ear, that's the ideal thing. Uh -huh, that's the standard. <laughs> And a lot of this is homework, you know, we can't cover this here at this meditation. So, uh, again, ask him, you know, how he's still affecting you with the trauma that's in there, so you get an idea. And now ask whether there are still some formative ideas about enjoying life you know, that are still affecting you. Maybe <laughs> it has to have a beer bottle in your hand. Mm -hmm. And again, did you fulfill your dreams in his eyes? Or does he look at you as a failure, as a cave-in, a sellout, a loser? Uh, it's important. <laughs> he kind of is happy with you, isn't it? He's still in you. Mm-hmm. And maybe you give him some advice, you know, uh, that stay away from Betty or, you know, <laughs> kick the soda pops. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, we are protection, yes. So tell your team. And now ask your team, you know, who probably is a part of self-sabotaging, you know. Ask him how much is most of the procrastination coming from him? Yes or no? How about, you know, showing up late? Is that him or waiting to the last minute? Is this also him? Yes or no? And how about this self-saboteur, you know, doing the opposite of what, you know, you planned to do, <laughs> you know, when it counts. Is this him? Yes or no? Alright. So, let's ask about fears. 
you know, so as teens, you know, we have to many times decide about our career, you know, how we're going to be stuck with the rest of our life, or about a sweetheart, maybe, you know, or we think we're not good enough. Um, you know, there are a lot of fears about the future, you know, we don't have experience. And uh, many times, you know, we did not have the support of our parents or any mentors that knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. So, let's ask him first of all, you know, what's your biggest fear? Mm -hmm. well, about the future, probably. Or maybe Uncle Willie. And so just let him know, you know, how it turned out. You know, and maybe give some advice as if you could change the past. You know, and keep running love, you know, projecting love onto the teen aspect. Mm -hmm. You know. And ask, you know, how this kind of fear has, has an effect on your life so far. So you understand how damaging this fear is actually in your life. Many times, you know, the fear creates a cage or prison. <laughs> you never left the village, never left the country, never went abroad, never traveled alone, <laughs> never went into that club, never, yeah, did this or that because of fear, never tried out the fashion. Uh -huh. Right. So ask then also your inner teen, how does he still affect your body in certain ways? Mm -hmm. And of course we ask for a clearing of all the pain and trauma, you know. Dear angels, dear spirit guides, please arrange for our inner teen to heal. Amen, 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 amen. You know, this could be books, this could be teachers, videos, you know, any way. Maybe guided meditations. Mm -hmm. Hi. Now ask you in a teen if he or she got bullied. Yeah. Is there still any past life beef there? Any anger? Yes or no? And now go back to those scenes where your inner teen was shamed or bullied or subjected to peer pressure or made a really bad decision. <laughs> like, ah, that syringe looks clean. <laughs> and <laughs> repair all the place what they wish they could have said or done. <laughs> just smile and just breathe love into this aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this is a lot of homework. You know, we cannot do all this here during this guided meditation. You may press the K button or you know, go back to these aspects in your private meditation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so now we ask the inner teen, you know, to not just only release the trauma, but also to forgive, you know, those low lives that did that to you, you know. Most of the time, you know, the bullies, they have been bullied themselves, you know, by their parents. That's just what I've seen. You know, the daddy's yelling at the kid. And then the kid is all frustrated, full with the anger of daddy. <laughs> you know, and then on the schoolyard, you know, he's going to pass that on, you know, just like daddy did. You start acting like the winner and, you know, you abuse and bully others. So these are many times bullied, abused children. And so maybe from that point of view, you can forgive them. Amen, 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 amen. 
and you ask for all the spirit guides to just send love to this aspect of the team. Mm -hmm. And maybe if there's still an energetic connection to this incident, we have this cleared and filled with smiley energy. Mm -hmm. And we also now ask for ascension teams and ask them to clear up any soul fragments or ghost aspects that also got bullied and abused. We made the bitches, like prison bitches of others, right? To clear all those, liberate them and bring them into the heavens. And say, you did this to others that you apologize and ask for forgiveness, and we ask that the angels also bring those into the heavens. Amen, 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 amen. And just keep running love into the heavens and smile, and think, oh, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I'm so sorry to those that you hurt. And you forgive those that hurt you. Mm -hmm. Amen, 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 amen. Right. And now, also, Source, please clear all the karma surrounding these issues for all the parties involved throughout creation. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's come to the love box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all yearn to be desired. And of course, you know, there was the you know, body image we had about ourselves and our fear of worthiness. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, uh, for most of us, our sense of worthiness, you know, came from the validation from others. You know, how, how much you got the attention of others, you know. Uh, that would satisfy this deep yearning for self-approval. And I have to say, in countries like India, you know, where the whole family just keep hugging the kids, the budgets, you know, everybody just loves them, they can't do wrong. Them, these people as adults, you know, um, have a great sense of self-worthiness. Though they may not be beautiful or great achievers. And this is what I've seen. That's what I've learned there. They still kind of love themselves. You know, they're okay with themselves. So, just send love to this aspect. You know, whatever body you have, you're still gonna love. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. and asked the inner teen whether they were even scared to be seen in a sexual way yes or no and if you got a yes ask whether most of that fear comes from past lifetimes yes or no And if it's not from past lifetime, maybe it's from this lifetime, and ask if it was from this lifetime, you know, what was the incident, so you have an idea. Ask now. Okay. And now, oh God, you know, as the inner teen, we had so much adoration, crushes, 
So let's ask the inner teen, is this still uh, affecting us, our love life, <laughs> and who we adore, yes or no? Uh-huh. And ask where those formative romantic ideas that still affect you coming from go to that situation. Or which love relationship. Mm -hmm. And maybe give some advice from hindsight. The perfect vision. Mm -hmm. This probably can help a lot and make that teen, you know, feel comfortable. And let's ask the inner teen how it is attracted to our present partner that we have in life. And maybe we can have some of those crushy energy those longing and intensity of this inner teen back, please, please, if possible. And ask, you know, where those formative disappointments are still affecting you. <laughs> That's something to work on. Well, you know how to do it now. That's homework. And of course, one of the big things in puberty is your sexual identity is forming. Right? Uh, so there is this, you know, being gay or not gay, you know, seeing the beauty and attractiveness, you know, in another person. You know, it's just same gender or other gender, you know, just seeing this. Mm -hmm. We probably all had to make decisions on that, how we cultivate our fantasy or manage our crushes. Let's ask, you know, our major crushes, how much does that come from past life attractions? Maybe you had past life with them. So ask, you know, this the strongest crush you had. You know, you probably know exactly who that is. Does that crush come from past lifetimes? Yes or no? And let's pick another crush. And ask if that one comes from past lifetimes too. Yes or no? And of course you can do this by yourself as homework. Mm -hmm. And we uh, release any guilt and doubt now from the inner teen about whatever sexual choices the inner teen made, you know. So, you know, this is nobody's business as long as you don't do it on the front lawn in front of the kids. You know, I think uh, I should be all right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's the love that counts. It's the love that counts. It's the love that counts. We have had so many incarnations in male and female bodies. They're just like different cars. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, let's ask the inner teen if he wants to make or she wants to make any decisions for the future. And what are those? Uh -huh. And thank you. And uh, we probably did a lot of clearing now. And, you know, there are parts of your soul that can come back. So we invite them to come back and join you for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome to assist you and empower you for this ascension in this lifetime. Amen. And we thank all the spirit guides that helped us. Thank you so much. And please uh, clear and remove any energies or entities that should be cleared and removed.
and guard and close any portals that should be closed or guarded. And one, you become aware of the room again. And two, you slip back into your body, your toes, your heels, your spine. And three, you open your eyes and you're back in vacant day consciousness. Completely integrated. Hello. Hello, my friends. Back <laughs> into this world. Uh, so, uh, you probably feel lighter while down drive a car, you know, following this for a while. Uh, so, you probably have some questions and let me try to answer as much as possible. So this shotgun meditation will probably not ascend all of the stuck soul fragments, your ghosts and traumas. Uh, much of the time, you know, you will have, you know, to do these guided meditations, you know, just like you would, you know, brush your teeth, you know, or take pills, you know, or teas. So um, you should do them again. Um, also, the information density here in this guided meditation is a very high. You know, and there's so much packed into this, and I could have put a lot more into this too. You know, but I rather tailor do this in a private meditation. So, uh, to the idea is, you know, you can keep on listening to the meditation several times. You know, till you get no more strong reaction. You know, whenever you have like a strong reaction, emotional reaction, yeah, you still have some stuff to work out there, you know. But when you're in a teen, it's like chilled out and happy, you know, on each stage of its life, you know, you're good. <laughs> and you probably know it by then. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, many issues, you know, of course, have to be looked at in greater detail, you know, before they can be released, you know. So, uh, that is when a lesson or insight is needed, you know, before the trauma can be transmuted. So, the insight is like the homework, you know, you gotta do. Uh, like, good parents help with the homework, uh, but... Uh, do not uh, make, you know, the whole homework. So just ask for the highest and most accessible guidance, you know, for you. Um, so this may be through books or YouTube information or websites or people, you know. Also nature is very important or dreams, um, you know, and there are much more to just ask for help and you know, look in all those avenues. You know, do not limit God. <laughs> and uh, you can also, of course, treat yourself to a private Skype session and cut right to the chase. You know, so my prices are very, very reasonable. People are amazed how little I charge. So just send me an email and I will um, send you, you know, all the information that, that you need. So if you responded well to this guided meditation, you know, please do that cyber stuff, you know, to increase my ratings, subscribe, ring the bell, give your thumbs up, tell your friends, leave comments, smile like an idiot, enjoy my other videos too. I love you. Namaste.